All right, welcome to this challenge. Welcome to today's math class. The question before us here is easy. If only and only if you know how to navigate your algebraic equation, your radical equation. So the question before us here is the square root of A plus the square root of B equal to the square root of 304. What is the possible values for your A and B? So if you're new here, this is all like math TV, where we do mathematics all the time. We solve mathematics from different category. And my name is Jakes. If you've not subscribed, do it to subscribe. Because here, you get a lot of help from this channel. Let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. Okay. Yeah, so we take our solution. All right. Now, look at this question we have here now. The first thing we do here is easy. It's to work on the right-hand side of this equation. So, let's keep the right-hand side, sorry, the left-hand side, which is square root of A plus the square root of B is equal to. We can simplify this figure in here, keeping in mind that the radical we have here is a square root radical. So, we have to divide 3 over 4 to a point whereby we can have a number that is a perfect square. So, 2 can go into this. So, 2 here will give us here 1. Bring the 1 to this side to give us 10. So, 2 into this, we have 5. 2 into this, we have this. 2 can equally go again. 2 here will give us 7. 2 into 12 will give us 6. 2 can equally go again. 2 here will give us 3. 2 here will give us uh, 8 and 2 again. Here we have uh, 1. 2 to 18 will give us 19. So, not can go into this again. So, from here, we multiply this side out. So, here we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that will give us 16. So, we have 16 times 19. So, we can rewrite this side as your 16 times 19. Good. So what do we do next? Okay, let me write this way. So what do we do next? Now, according to the law of sword, we can separate the things, having the same radical. 16 is a perfect square. So the square root of 16 is 4. So thus, we now have this to be the square root of A plus the square root of B equal to 4 into the square root of 19. Easy. Okay. So from here, what do we do? Very easy step we are going to take here. Um, look at the... Radical, we have here and this radical. So I'm going to do some crazy substitution here now. So where is that crazy substitution? I'm going to represent the whole of the A here with some quantities and B with some other quantities too. And doing that, I must keep in mind the square root of 19. Okay? So I'm going to bring some quantities with regards or in relations to this. So from here, I will say here, let our A be equal to 19 x to the power of 2. Mind you, we're trying to keep this radical in mind, hence we'll bring it this, and this guy here now. So, and also b, b will equally be 19 to a different alphabet square. So, wherever we see your a and b, let's put in these values we have here now. So, that we give us here. So, automatically, we're going to have the, be the square root of 19 x squared Plus the square root of 19y square equal to this side. We still have this to be same. We have here 19. Easy, easy, easy. All right. So from here, we can separate this out. So if we separate this out, then this guy, we cancel this radical and it will come out. So our x will come out. And if we do the same thing here, then this guy will cancel out this guy. Then y will come out. So see what I'm talking about here. So this now implies that our x into the square root of 19 plus our y into the square root of 19 equal to 4 into the square root of 19. Now you see the beauty of this challenge is now coming out now. All right. You now discover that we have the square root of 19, square root of 19, square root of 19 is here. So we can divide through 
by the square root of 90. And if we do that, then that will leave the system. And so we can factor out 19 from here. Sorry, the square root of 19 from here. So we have here square root of 19. Okay, let me write it where bracket, bracket. Yeah, if we use this to divide this, we are left with what? Your x. So we have here x uh, plus use that to divide this, we are left with what? Y. So this equal to we have our 4 into the square root of 19 s. So what happened? We can divide through. So this and this will leave the system. We're now having x plus y equal to what? 4. So let's continue on this side of the board. All right. So from here, look at what we are left with here. So we now have this now implies our x plus y equal to 4. Easy. So what are the two numbers that when we combine them, the sum will give us 4 here. So how do we do that? It's easy. So let's bring out our 4 here. Let's draw out some here. So we have our x, we have our y. So for x, it could be 0. Y, y will be 4. So 0 plus 4 will give us 4. So here we have 0 plus 4. That will give us 4. And if x is 1, then y will be what? 3. 1 plus 3 will give us 4. Then if s is 2, y will be 2. 2 plus 2 will give us what? 4. Then if x is 3, y will be 1. And lastly, if x is 4, y will be 0. So these are the possible scenario from which we can have this system to be, um, um, to be correct. Now, there are other scenarios through which we can have our x plus y to be positive 4, okay? Because we can have our x to be negative, y to be positive, or y to be positive, x to be negative. But here, we are asked to find the positive integers, okay? Yes, yeah, sorry, I did get it, say a and b are positive integer, okay? So a and b are positive integer. So in that case, we narrow our solving within this domain. Now let's look at this carefully. We discover that this will work out if we substitute this into our equation. This, if we substitute this, it will also work out. And also if we substitute this, it will also work out. All right, now let's go back to our equation where we said let a be equal to dx. So what will now be the value of a from dx place here now? And what will be the value of b that when we put these three values into it to satisfy this original equation? Oh, sorry, this original equation. So let's take the other side. So from here, when I say recall, Recall that we said a is equal to your 19x squared. Then b is equal to um, 19y squared. So, like I said, we said this, this, this will only work out. This will not work out. This will not work out. If x is 0, this will give us what? This will give us 0. So, the whole of this will give us 0. Meanwhile, y being 4 this will give us 19 times 4 square and 4 square is 16 so 19 times 16 that will give us 304 so at this point this will give us 304 which we correspond with what we have in here now then let's try this other part now so when x is 2 y 2 then what will become our equation so we have your a will now be equal to your 19 times your 2 square, which is equal to 19 times 4. And 19 times 4 will give us 76. So this will now give us 76, right? Then our B, this will equally give us 19 times 2 square. This is equal to 19 times 4, which is equal to 76. So if we put these two values, into this and this, then it will give us what we have here now. We can confirm that, okay? Or you can confirm that on your own, all right? So from here, we try the other one, which is 4. So we have A is equal to, we have 19 times 4, all to the power of 2, which is equal to 19 times 16. So this will give us 304. Then for your B, 
this will give us 19 times 0 square, which is equal to 0. So this and this will satisfy, and alongside with this. But if you put 1, 3, and 3, 1, it will not satisfy the equation. If you go ahead to impute these values you have here now, these two values into this, then we are going to have 2 root your 7, 6. Then if we push in the other two, that will give us 4. So 4 times 7, 6, that will go back to our 3, 0, 4. Clear? All right. So this works out. This also work out. And uh, which other one? Uh, this also work out. So in all, what are the solutions to um, uh, this challenge now? This pair we have here a comma b will be equal to bracket the first one we have this will be zero then here we have three oh four okay then for the second part second pair we have bracket 76 comma 76 okay and lastly the third one we have our a to be um three O four and B zero, B zero. So these are the pairs. Okay. So these are the pairs of solution that will satisfy this radical equation when skillfully solved. All right. So this might be end to uh, this uh, uh, radical equation, solving radical equation step by step. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a better way of solving this challenge, drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Again, if you're not subscribed, do it to subscribe. Because here we learn mathematics all the time. Remember, you are the reason for the existence of this channel. And because of that, we love you so much. Every one of us at Online Math TV loves you. Bye for now.